Fight videos are an undeniable staple of viral internet stuff. Bum fights, world star, Twitter clip accounts. They've just got this universal primal appeal that, you know, all the big-brained individuals want to act like they're above looking at this sort of thing, but I mean, somebody's looking at it. And one of the biggest subgenres of internet viral fight videos is the story of the man who just had enough. A rowdy woman hits him one too many times and he just snaps and goes full equal rights equal lefts. There's many such tales, but one of the most legendary comes not from World Star, not for some terrible vertical video, but from mainstream Indian television. A clip that gave birth to the famous line How can you snap? How can you snap? How can she snap? But there's a lot more to this story than you probably know about, so today I want to take a look at the legend of How Can She Slap? Hello? Hey, it's Steve. Steve who? Steve Shadow Legends, creator of Raid Shadow Legends. Oh yeah, yeah, I know Raid. I mean, everybody's promoting that right now. I know you've been playing it. I mean, yeah, but... Why do you think you're better than an internet historian? Today's video is brought to you by possibly the greatest game ever created. As indicated by its nomination on Google Play's Best of 2019 User's Choice Awards. You already know, I'm talking about Raid Shadow Legends. The epic, dark fantasy RPG with over 400 champions. That's a lot of champions. They wanted me to show you my favorite champion, and right now it's probably this, this hot ninja looking broad. I mean, she's probably probably kind of cold in that outfit, but that's not my problem. It's free to play, and with the multi-battle auto mode, it can play itself and do the grinding for you while you sit here and watch the rest of my video. And then once your characters are nice and beefy, you can compete every week in tournaments and events to win prizes. And don't worry about getting bored, because over the next six months, they have a whole roadmap planned out of new content, including new factions, a tag team arena feature, and a new clan boss. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description and click the special links and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as a part of the new player program to start your journey. The viral video How Can She Slap originates from an Indian TV show called Dadagiri which debuted in 2008. Dadagiri promoted itself as television's meanest game show. It was a little bit like American Gladiators meets Fear Factor meets Jeopardy, all while enduring tons of verbal abuse from the hosts. During its first season, subtitled Beat the Bullies, contestants had to compete in a number of challenges enforced by the aforementioned bullies. There was Vishal, the Beast. He had the contestants test their might by enduring physical challenges. Then there was Sherman, the Mindstein, and I have no idea what a Mindstein is supposed to mean, but it seems like it's a smart kind of thing. Like you have a good mind, but also you're Einstein. And it makes sense because his part of the show was about having contestants test their wits by answering questions. And then there was Esha, the goddess, who you probably recognize because it was she who slapped. Her whole bit was making the contestants perform mentally taxing and sometimes gross challenges. Losers would then be subjected to gross concoctions by a highly, Hello? highly flamboyant chef named Juicy. Magical power. The infamous How Can I Slap clip happened during a season one episode and involved a contestant named Ravi Bhatia. Anyway, let's take a look at it. Right. Are you sure? What the f is it with this stupid sideburns of yours? Are you in some sort of a time capsule 60s where punch girl? What is it with those faces? What are you doing? For something that prided itself in being television's meanest game show, these are some pretty weak ass insults. She would have been better off pulling out something about the jerk store. I mean, granted, it was 2008, it was a different time, Mark Zuckerberg hadn't yet started rocking his turf bangs, so you know, maybe the bar for what constitutes as a haircut so bad that it belongs at the bad haircut convention was simply a lower bar. But either way, both of the fellows were staying pretty quiet and really no-selling these insults. But then Ravi, that cheeky fuck, look at that mischievous, cherubic smile. He just couldn't keep his mouth shut. Actually, the thing is that we don't want to talk with you, actually. That's Why don't you go and fuck off, then? You go. And there it was. The most consequential no you in all of recorded history. How can you snap? 
How can you slap? You mad or what, buddy? How can she slap? How can she slap me? How can you slap, buddy? What good? You bastard! Bloody bastard! How did you hit her? You bastard! How did you hit her? I'll fuck your bitch right now! You fucking bastard! I'll fucking kiss, bastard! Are you kidding? Who would have ever thought that a show whose entire premise was about bullying, a show that prided itself on being the meanest game show on TV, would escalate into an all-out brawl? I definitely didn't see that coming. And a lot of you are probably thinking, I know I thought this back when I originally saw it, that this was all just a scheme to promote the show, right? It's very on brand. No, actually. This was actually kept under wraps and not supposed to be seen by anybody that wasn't there that day. This recording would remain tucked away in the archives until four months later, September 2008, when a member of the crew leaked it. From there, it would make it to TMZ and go viral all over the Western world. Uploads of the clip would get millions millions of views and tons of remixes and YTMNDs were made at the time because that's just what people did in 2008. And this was great news for Ravi, who was still recovering from the severe ass beating that brought him to tears. After the How Can She Slap clip went viral, he spoke to the Times of India. 19-year-old Ravi Badia is all over news channels past few days. This small-town boy has dashed off a legal notice to the makers of Datagiri. He's upset with what happened on the reality show. Reality shows may have their fixed scripts and sensational turn of events, but Ravi is in no mood to take things lying down. This incident occurred four months ago. The participants of the show had to pass through the litmus test of abuses and spats, and it was all scripted. We were all given our parts where 70% was to be said as is, and 30% would be improvisation, says Ravi. There is this girl called Isha, opposite me, who was supposed to abuse me and I was to retaliate, but calmly. In other words, there is no mention of any kind of physical contact in this thing, so when he said, how can she slap, he literally meant, how is she allowed to slap? This wasn't a part of the deal. After a while, when it came to improvisations, I presumed she was out of words and came and slapped me hard. I was shocked, and in the heat of the moment, I slapped her back. That led to the entire unit of about 70 people jumping on me, beating me black and blue. It was a miracle in itself that I managed to escape from there, he says. So how did this incident get flashed in the media now? Luckily for me, somehow the tapes got leaked out and they were being shown on all the channels. I got myself a copy from one of the news channels and was happy that finally, I acquired the proof to support me. And this time, I will not be quiet. Just because they have power, it doesn't give them the license to pull down people. I have sent a legal notice to the producers and asked for an apology publicly for defamation. And although I haven't been able to find 100% confirmation of this, it is widely reported that they settled out of court in Ravi's favor. But what happened after all this? This is Ravi Badia now. These days, he is a successful TV actor with a number of roles under his belt. Most famously, Salim in the historical drama Jodha Akbar, which I almost definitely just mispronounced. At this point, the whole how can she slap thing is just a minor footnote in a much larger career, kind of like pointing to Aaron Paul's appearance on The Price is Right. As for the show itself, Dadagiri wound up being a huge success, one of the highest rated shows of its time. It lasted for four seasons, and most of the cast would reprise their roles. However, Esha was replaced. And that's the story of How Can She Slap. Honestly, I kinda wish American TV was a little bit meaner. I, I would fuck with that. Anyway, if you like this video, I recommend looking at Wavy Webster's video on another viral video, Don't Tase Me Bro. Peace out.